to uh, 500 feet above the ground. Come on. So yeah, at Golden Ball. Busy day. Productivity. The UK PLC has dropped. Not that it was very high to start with. It's only 20 past 11. Wasn't forecast to get good until between 12 and 1. So I'm not going to be tempted to go over the back early. Just have a boat around, feel the air. We should have turned a bit sooner. It's quite a breezy day, so I'm just keen to push out, keep out in front of the hill. And until, until it looks good. Um, I don't want to dribble over the back. It's three meters a second. Get a bit of height and then push forward again. Uh, just got a bit of height and pushing out again. No one's going for it just yet. Still not even 12. Oh, sinky, sinky. Eighteen hundred feet. It's not happening yet. Well, this feels like a pretty big climb. Let's see how high we can get in it. Only just at two thousand feet. So it's five to twelve. So definitely switching on. Honesty for you, that's um, we just heard over the radio. It's Hugh Miller, who is one of the top pilots in the UK, just saying he's not feeling on it today and he's gone and landed. So, uh, there's a something, something to be learned from that. Be honest with yourself, it's tricky. I've been flying for about an hour now, no one's really well. A few people left the hill, they gaggled back there, but they're just not very high. Nice cumulus. Just got to get up to them. Not sure who this is, but they're going up better than me. Oh yeah, three and a half. I'm at 2,000 feet. I wonder if this is finally it. Stick with this one, I think. It's half past 12. As you can see, it took me about an hour and 10 minutes to finally leave the hill. So I was very much chasing, um, apart from the guys stuck on Milk Hill, of course. I'm up at 4,200. Come on, where's that climb gone? If I lose it, I'm gonna head towards these clouds ahead of me. Where's the climb? 
Come on, it's got to be something around here somewhere. get under this one. Avebury down there, lovely little town or village with some uh, interesting standing stones. Uh, 4,000 feet. So this cloud is literally disappearing under me, above my, above my eyes. God damn it. Try that one. Oh, I was just having terrible sinks, so I've just altered course 45 degrees. It's a bit better. Not much. Oh. Down to two and a half thousand feet now. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting out. That cloud's definitely looking nice. The source is probably these big fields here. Let's try and approach it from upwind. Two and a half down. Colours on the fields. Field day. Oh dear, disastrous. Big dairy farm. Oh dear. 500 feet above the ground. Come on. Blowing off the edge of this escarpment. Two kites there. Let's go and join them. It's a buzzard.
So finally on my way, I thought my flight was going to be over after 14 kilometers as I got uh, down to 500 feet here before I found a climb. 2,100 feet. Hey, this guy has got a climb, I think. Make my way over towards him. Oh, has he? I certainly haven't. Hmm, he's not really going up now. drift over Wooden Bassett. I was just leaving my thermal to go and join his, but he seems to not be on it, in it. Oh yeah, he is going up there. All right, let's go and join him. Swindon to my left here, to the east, and this is Royal Wooden Bassett. Feel a whole load more comfortable. Hopefully, that was the only low saver this flight. Although I know when I've said that before, I jinx myself, and that's where I got a low save last week over that building site. Anyway, concentrate. Three thousand four hundred. Ah, that climb just fizzled out for both of us. So I think we're heading under these clouds. Try and hopefully get something downwind of wooden bassett. There's a big blue hole there. Oh, but this is a horrible sink. Oh, speak 
looking at like 1.2. somewhat approaching Cotswold Water Park 2.8 and we've got Kirsty and Laurie just a K behind so hopefully I can hook up with them so Gary and I minced past Royal Wooden Bassett getting up to about three and a half thousand feet. Then along comes Laurie and Kirsty, and we get up to about three eight, but never feel really established. So I'll be joined by Kirsty and Laurie, and we're up at three seven. We've got another hour to get past uh, the Sasserni. Yeah, well, we've done a massive 30k. Whew. We've never really got established. We've got up to about 3.7 in that climb. This is Siren Sister ahead of us. Three and a half down. Four down, jeez. And that climb just fizzled out at three and a half. So that cloud up there is grown. Um, so we're going to fly pretty much straight over the town, I think. Hopefully, we'll get something off the back end of the town, not over it. With a sky like this, this has been the hardest flight I've had. 2.9 down. Three and a half down. It's ridiculous. Seagull to my right. Is it going up? This has actually turned into a pretty nice climb, three to four meters a second. Uh, 2,900 feet now. 4.2, 3. Gauge with this wind. 
where the best climb is. It's easy to fall out of it in front or back. One of these climbs we might actually get up to base. Nine hundred foot. I'm hoping I might be able to get a bike to eat on this glide. Four nine fifty. Okay, I think I'll push on. So that climb over Sirencester was definitely the best climb of the day so far. It got us up to 5,100 feet. Yeah, a bit of a blue hole there, although there's a cloud. Whoa. So heading towards Cheltenham. Oh dear. Three down. Approaching Cheltenham now. We're just about keeping up with Kirsty and Laurie. Yeah, Kirsty and Laurie reported strong sink that way. So I'm going to head over the town. There's two. Let's try and just ride with this. drift with it for a bit. This cloud's not lasting very long. Bishop's Cleave to my left. Hope we get something rolling off the edge of the high ground. Anything here? Damn those guys up there. Oh, two down again. Below 2,000 feet.
might stay in the whole in the thermal the whole way around. It's ridiculous. Getting difficult down to below 2000 again. Try across these fields. One decent climb to get me up to base is what I'm asking for. Just need to mince across to get onto that hill. Slowly gaining height. Guess what? Up at 3,000 feet. And it's developed into a pretty nice climb. There's someone behind me. Who's that? I wonder. Nice steady two and a half. Oh, that feels a lot better. Three and a half thousand feet. Woohoo! So finally all that mincing past Cheltenham paid off. Um, I'm two and a half hours since leaving the hill and at 77 kilometers downwind and it's starting to look good. Hey, so up at 4,900 and uh, that was Ken who's just flown over the top of me. Good for him. We've done 75k. Maybe I'm just in, at last going to get in sync with the clouds. Maybe. Two and a half. Yay, 5,000! Okay, I think I can push on. Five, three. cloud first and then yes there's a nice line of clouds over that way. Lost track of Kirsty and uh, Laurie. There'll be a few K ahead now. 80 kilometers and it's uh, three just after three. Uh, so that big city there is Worcester. Birmingham visible quite a long way away in that direction. 
nice to catch up with Ken, he's a couple of K ahead. Alright, heading over towards Ken, who's got a climb somewhere over there. Temporarily lost him. About three and a half thousand feet. But quite a nasty sink. It's going up nicely. Might as well relative. <laughs> I'm going down pretty nicely. Oh god. That's uh, Worcester, so I'm passing that to uh, it's to the west of me. Oh, come on, where's this climb gone? It's a bit bouncy. And Droitwich Spa, 1.92. Ninety-six point nine kilometres. Whew. At the beginning of the flight, I didn't even think I was going to make wooden bass it like twenty k. It's been a struggle. Every time you get high and established. Next thing you know, you load down again. So yeah, cruising past Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Dudley, and Kidderminster down there. And I've done 112k. And it is 10 to 4. So just passing Kidderminster. I see Ken's landed there. He probably set a goal there. Yeah, I'm hoping for a climb. Let's see what there is here. Twenty five K up at five and a half thousand feet. Birmingham and Dudley, Wolverhampton. Not really sure what the difference is, they all seem to merge into one. Just about to pass over a little ATZ down there, but I'm uh, got plenty of height to glide over it. Time, I'll just take a couple of turns. There's quite a few that. Anyway, for this cloud. And I'm also looking out for another paraglider off to my right. Oh, there he is. Orange glider. Okay, orange gin, I think. A horrible sink at the moment. But I'm hoping for a climb soon. I think he's got sink as well. It'd be nice to have a bit of company. a second. There's quite a lot of wind up here I should say. At least 30 kilometers an hour. I hope he finds the same climb. This was where the flight eventually started to get easier and it was just cruising really. Classic glide and climb. Oh, some horrible sink here. Okay. Over flight Cosford, ATZ. Yeah, I know that. If I can get under this cloud street, it's 
going all the way to Crewe, which I can see in the distance, Crewe. But we do have to stay below five and a half shortly. Oh, this is one of the nicest, smoothest climbs I've had all day. Oh, there's a big festival down there. I guess it is festival season. Oh, this is gorgeous. Almost up at 5,000 again. Where is the boom? Oh, he's, well, he's back a bit. Oh, what a beautiful climb. So Kirsty and Laurie, about 7 or 8k in front of me. So yeah, for 6-1, but we do have to step down to 5.5 in about 10k, unless these clouds go off to the left a bit, but I will have a bit of 5.5, straight lining, 3-4, 4.2, I really don't need to turn. I've got 10k though, to, uh, before I need to worry about losing height. Okay, getting very close to the 5.5 now. I'm at, uh, at 5.3, so I'm okay to go under. I do want to be heading slightly to the left though, so away from this good line of clouds, unfortunately. Hoping to work something under this one here. Yeah, 5,000 feet, just about to go under. Some strong lift around, so probably need to leave about 500 feet. I can just surf the edge of this. 44k to go, I've done 156. Very pleasant, just one meter per second, wafting me along nicely. 31k to go. Come on, where are you? I'm a thousand foot under airspace, so I've got plenty of room to find a booming climb. I'm at about 5,000 and I'm about 2k away from the four and a half. So I'm just going to be careful I don't go into it. I'm heading for crew. Bit of a blue hole's appearing, but hopefully that, that won't matter. 20k to go, I've done a 180. It says I need a 14 to 1 glide to goal. I'm at 4.6. Half a k 
KOA 45. Yeah, so I'm now officially under, as long as I don't get any lift. Point six glide angle to goal now. So 13 kilometers away. Uh, a bit sinky here. I could do it with one more climb. Eight kilometers. Need a ten and a half glide, but I'm in sinky air at the moment. It's a bit better. at this rate. I need another climb at two and a half thousand feet. Oh god it's hideous two and a half down. I need eleven to one now. It's gotta be a climb here somewhere. Eleven point two it's going the wrong way. get up to two and a half thousand because that's the next step down in a couple of k God damn it, I don't want a three meter per second climb at this point.
difficult to stay below two and a half thousand feet. I've almost got my goal and then I'll turn around. Okay, that's my 200k goal. much height at 2,000 feet. But I'm going forwards. That was a pretty nice landing. Ah! Holy fuck, what an epic. Holy fuck. Oh, what a flight. Oh my god. Crazy. So difficult to start with. And then it all got a lot better. Right. Hiya! Okay. Yeah, all good, thanks. Uh, to the railway station. If you can give us 10 minutes to pack up. Oh, amazing. Come and have a chat while I'm packing up. Oh, superb. Well, it sort of was. You never guess where I've flown from, though. Hey? From uh, New Devices down in Wiltshire. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, 200 kilometers exactly. Ah, that was a total epic. <laughs> and these kind folk have come to give me a lift to the station. Ah, very nice to meet you. You, you too, well, we saw you coming over. We've seen a few of you. Yeah. You must be the fourth we've seen. Yeah. Gaz, Gaz. Jim, Jim. Bella. Hello, Bella. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You've lost a couple of teeth, I see. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How are you going to eat? I, I just eat it. So fine. look, this is what we sit in. Do you want to sit in it, Bella? No. No, no, no it's not going to fly off. No, you won't. <laughs> parachute's no. there. No, go on. I don't want it. And no. I just, we can just lift you up. No. No, that's fine. Sit in it. Mummy would love to see it. She won't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this man just dropped out of the sky. <laughs> Watching, it's like, wow. I thought I've only had two. <laughs> <I'll just> <laughs> <laughs> That's good going. Yeah, so yeah, it's very comfortable. You've got your legs out here. You've sort of got okay. some controls with the speed. You've got these things you push on with your feet and you can make yourself go a little bit faster, right. which was when I was coming back into wind. I needed to, yeah. to go as fast as possible. It's, it's quite a breezy day. <laughs> go anywhere. Um, and so everything packs up in here. Didn't need that today. Oh, look, I've got some sandwiches. 
<laughs> peanut butter marmite. How long do you plan on being up there? <laughs> oh, I was ready to come down. I've been up, I've been up for uh, about six, six and a half hours, something like that. Probably. Really? Yeah. It was really desperately slow to start with. I was. It's not propelled. No, no, no. It's just. Wow. I was. Yeah, I got so low, too many times. Um, but then the last. It was, <laughs> She's in awe. <laughs> She's worried that it's going to take off again. <laughs> no. Right, that's everything out of there. Um, the trick is not to lose anything, so I have to be a little bit methodical about putting everything away. Radio, I was chatting to our so chums. We saw two or three about half an hour ago over us. Yeah, they were, we were all trying to do 200 kilometers from where right. we took off. And uh, this is, a, the trouble is there's airspace above here right. at two and a half thousand feet. So yeah, it's the in, yeah to Manchester Airport. Yeah, yeah. a little a couple, a few kilometers that way. It's four and a half, and, a, and then it was five and a half, and then it was before so that. Yeah, you look, you've missed the Everest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so we have to be, you know, I was struggling to get down because it was so thermic at the end. So from a little hill in uh, on the Marlborough Downs. Not even from a plane. No, 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 he just took off, off a plane, he jumped off a hill. Took, yeah, <laughs> stepped off a hill. It's pretty incredible, really. It's crazy. That's what, amazing. It's absolutely crazy. So how far away is that from here, then? Well, it's literally 200 kilometres straight line, which is like 100 and probably so 140, 140 miles. miles. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan at the end? Just try and get home? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, am I still filming? Do you want to be on the, my video? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Gaz and Bella, my saviors, look at those Wait. teeth. <laughs> oh, amazing. One down, big jump. I've been just a little bit higher than that today. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got to work out how to get back to my car, which is on top of a, a hill in Wiltshire. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it could be a late one. Ah, <laughs> uh, but this this. Um, if we didn't have the dogs and when we wasn't out, we'd go the full hog, wouldn't we? We'd go for a drive down to uh, we down to Wiltshire. We'd go the full hog. <laughs> but Mummy's gonna have for dinner with friends, hasn't she? And we've got two beagles. So uh, here we are in the gold minibus retrieve. No, Balanson's minibuses. Okay, Hello. Hello, smile. Ben's first 200, yep. Laurie's first 200, Steve's multiple 200s, I'm sure. No, no, first. First? Oh, amazing. Really? Another first. Oh, this is amazing. I think it's my fourth yeah, now. My ninth. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> Get out now, Kirsty. <laughs>